2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Fellowship Open is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and Rich, no wins for this golfer, but they've been very consistent all season, keeping themselves inside that all important top 25. Absolutely, they've been solid all year long and it doesn't look like we will see them on the Corn Ferry Tour next year, just because they should progress to the PGA Tour next year. No doubts about it in my mind. I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Setting up here from about 150 yards. <laughs> Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Oh, I didn't see this as possible. What a shot. Okay, that'll work. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. That's disappointing. Wanted to get it up to the hole, but was just unable to up that slope. So it'll be a par to start their round. Very nice par indeed. Very solid hole played. He's currently tied for eighth. Here we are at the second tee. Well, this rough looks to be lush and thick, doesn't it? Going with the five iron here. That's it, it's okay. And here we are with the third shot. Yeah, that one will play. What an opportunity to make a birdie. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Super shot, that. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more.
looks to have chosen the seven iron. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Ooh, right by the hole. And that should secure the par on this one. Currently one under for the event. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. And a par four awaits at this next hole. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot here at the four. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. And this part to move into a tie for first. Ooh. Putting for a par now. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. This one heading to the bunker. Always a tough shot to get out of. Yeah, this is not what they wanted. There might be a couple of hits here. Nicely done. A chance to move to a couple under the card with this putt. This is what they have left for birdie here. Oh, just missed. This putt right on 10 feet, a good one to make. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Putting for bogey. And unfortunately dropping back to level with the card. And moving down the leaderboard as well.
And on the tee now, coming off the bogey. Might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. This is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. And this putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. And in it goes for the par. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Setting up now on a par four. No harm, no foul there with that shot. This one from about 160 yards out. Back into the wind. They need to flight this one down. And choosing the eight iron here. Not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. This putt coming up is for birdie. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. Ah, that's frustrating. Just a short putt remaining here. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Opting for the three wood. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? 
setting up this putt 18 feet from the cup. This is their look at birdie. That's a good way to bounce back from the drop shot at the last hole. I will take that also into the top five now. And with that now, back to level par. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Wow, that was just striped. Well, Rich, isn't this a lovely sort of teaser for these players on the Corn Ferry Tour to be playing at the stadium course, which is known for the prestigious Players' Championship? They're almost getting a sense of what it might be like to be on the big stage. Exactly. However, there is one massive difference. You just don't have the number of fans out here like you would normally see it. That's what the biggest difference is this week. Still, they're going to feel a lot of pressure trying to close the deal, coming down 16, 17, and 18, no matter how many folks are watching. Even for the day, time for fifth. Thirteen feet to the cup. Looking for another birdie here. And the putt will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. And that'll put a little pep in your step up and down from the bunker in for the birdie. Good job. Rich, how are we looking after nine? Two strokes off the lead with nine to go, Luke. They're going to need to put something special together. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. That's some good golf right there. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up this shot with the wind in their face. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This is downhill, can't be too bold. This part is of nine feet. Oh, that's a nice line. There it is. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort.
Here we have a par five. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Wow, that was just striped. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Our wind's just going to knock the ball down. It's straight at the back. Seems to have chosen the three wood. That might be one club too many. Well, it looks like they tried to be bold there, Rich, but it didn't quite work out for them. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Players sitting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. Well, the putter's going to be coming out of the bag, but it's still going to be a long way from the hole. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Oh, so close. Putting for a par here. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Now three strokes back after that hole. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Yeah, that's just not going to work for him. Time for the second shot at the 12. This putt to move into a tie for second. Ouch, that hurts. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And as they leave that hole, Rich, you'd imagine a little bit frustrated after such a great shot in. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. And an opportunity awaits as they step onto this tee of the par three. Going with the seven. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. Hey. 
Well, that'll work. Up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this putt 16 feet from the cup. Little birdie look in here. It was on a good line. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Ooh, nice line. Solid par putt, that. He's currently tied for sixth. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Lining up from around 160 yards. Four strokes off the lead. I shot that. That should find the surface. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Trying to get to two under with this part. Rolling end over end. This part's looking great. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. He's currently tied for third. Well, now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. And now we find ourselves with a par four here. Absolutely flushed. Playing from around 160 yards. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. Going with the eight iron here. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Birdie at the last. This for another. Just didn't drop it. A par putt awaits. And the putt drops. Now two under, hitting down the stretch. And just a few holes remaining. Let's see what they can produce. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Needs to make a move soon. That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? Oh, Henny, that looks like a putrid lie. Is it bad? Guys, you know the worst lie you've ever seen? Yeah, time's up by 10. This is nasty.
that's going to fall in the water, sadly. And here we are with their four. Just three strokes back. This one might come up a tad short. Sitting at two under, currently tied for third. What a recovery. Almost hold it. Four feet to the cup. This is what they have left for bogey. That starts off on a good line. Currently one under for the tournament. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yeah, that was a safe play. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. This putt for inside the top five on the leaderboard. Looking really good. That's outstanding. What a putt. And that will take him to two under. Well, I think that warrants another look. Let's see that again. What an amazing putt from way out. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Got to like it. And as this player begins their final hole, they're two shots off the lead. This is the all-important stretch. Time to make your move. Well struck. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 165 yards. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This one heading towards the green. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for birdie at the last. And this punt for a final score of 69. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. And that brings to an end his event.
sometimes these are a tough one to take. So close to the win, but ultimately just a shot shy. Listen, you can go back and look at a number of different shots throughout the course of the tournament. Which one will you pick is the one that you would like to have back the most? I mean, choose one, anyone. But listen, at the end of the day, finishing one back, it's a respectable finish. It's beyond that. It's a great finish, but not the finish they were hoping for. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.